Today we're going to do some compassion practice, this quality of opening the heart to pain and suffering, working with a friend and a neutral person in our lives. So as you gently allow your eyes to close, setting this intention with yourself right from the beginning, this intention of kindness or friendliness, of care, sitting in a way that feels supportive of your practice. Can you find a posture that feels relaxed and at ease, but also alert and energized? We don't need to stress to find the perfect posture, but rather tuning into our body, into our mind and what feels wholesome, what feels kind. And we can reflect for just a moment that compassion comes from Latin roots, calm and passio, meaning to suffer with. And it's really this practice of opening the heart and being with pain and difficulty. If a loved one or child is experiencing some pain, some suffering, compassion is the act of holding them, being with them. So you can bring to mind somebody in your life toward whom it's relatively easy to express compassion. Maybe it's somebody you know that's been in some pain or experienced some difficulty recently. And you don't need to hold auditions or shop around and find the perfect person, but going with whoever comes to mind. And as this person arises, just recognizing that there's some difficulty here, some pain and suffering. And although you may not have been through this exact same experience in your life, Recognizing that you know what it's like to be in a moment of pain or discomfort. The difficulty of suffering that we all experience. In compassion practice, we're not bringing in some care that's not already within us. Rather, we're opening and allowing the heart to care allowing the compassion to come through. So with this person in mind, you can offer some phrases of compassion. I often use the phrase, I care. I care about this pain. Or maybe may I care about this pain? May I care? I see your pain, or may I be present for your pain? May you be free from suffering. And if you have some phrases that work well for you or feel more authentic, feel free to use them. But you can stick with a few phrases, just offering this intention of care and love for this person's pain. Not that we can fix it necessarily, but to open the heart and be present for the difficulty.
you can gently let this person go from the mind and bring to mind a neutral person in your life. Somebody you come into contact with regularly, but don't know very well. I often suggest picking a service worker, somebody who works at the local grocery store or coffee shop. Maybe it's a bus driver, a neighbor, a coworker. Perhaps you don't even know this person's name. And you really don't need to know anything about this person's life to know that they experience some pain and discomfort, some anxiety or worry, some resentment or regret, this simple wishing things to be other than how they are that we all experience. And as you tune into this person, and the reality of their suffering, just connecting with your own intention to care. Again, not that we can fix this person's pain, but we can hold it. May I care about your pain? May I be present for your pain? May I have compassion? Just offering this intention, recognizing that it may not be an emotional experience every time, but connecting with this ability that we all have to care, setting the intention to open the heart for this person to their pain.